This is the uh, famous soba from Ijima. Okay. Kisoji. Kisoji. It's an onsen old Japanese style place. So we're gonna have fun! Do you ever feel like life is just one great big tunnel? It's that moment of excitement. So let there be light! Yeah! Oh, nice! Nice! Look at the mountains! Another tunnel, what does that mean? Does that mean another... Man, don't worry, I'm shutting off the camera. Ha! A sudden curve. Be careful. Oh, yeah, look at this. Man, this is like a... A amusement park ride. Uh-huh. When they said sudden curve, they meant it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Do you enjoy my videos? You have to know the amount of effort it takes to make one of these. <laughs> In the old days, the ancient Japan days, they used to walk this road. Get up caravan. Wow, but it's beautiful. Makes you want to sing some Heidi song from Switzerland or yodel or something. Yodely, yodely, yodely. Well, for your driving pleasure, here we are stopped by the roadside. This is a holiday, so you would expect that there wouldn't be that much road construction, but I think there is. And it says here, the sign says, by all means, please observe the traffic light. So that tells me that there might be some people that ignore it and run through this little traffic thing. It's for road construction. So it looks like there's probably a one lane traffic situation up ahead and they use the traffic light to stop one side of the one direction of the traffic so the other direction of the traffic can go through. At last, our side of the traffic can go! Yeah, maybe they're gonna make a double lane here. Guess they better hurry before the weather turns colder. Well, this trip seems to be a lot of tunnels and a lot of one lane road construction stops. I was just telling my husband, thank you for this trip. These are things we didn't used to do, have enough time or money to do when we were younger. And he reminded me that the holiday today is Keido no Hi, which is day for the elderly. <laughs> I think if you live in Japan, you have to have patience. And if you don't have patience, you have to get some. Because when you live in a country that has a large population and it has a small space for that population to live and move about because there's a lot of mountains or other things that prevent the people from living in those areas, you just have to develop patience. You have to develop courtesy. You have to develop those uh, people skills that will keep you from making it tough on yourself and stressful for yourself as well as stressful for others. So here we are sitting in this, this uh, line still and I'm musing upon life. Ah. We're moving, we're moving, it's so exciting. See that little birdhouse looking thing? We haven't figured out what that is. Some kind of a lookout. Oh, it was a Oh, so here is the Kisogawa River. It's beautiful. It's hard to see in the car, but it's very beautiful. So as we go this way, we're traveling along the Kisogawa River. And lots of tunnels, but this is such a big river, it goes all the way into Aichiken, into the big city of Nagoya, where we used to live and where Masaide was born. This was a place in ancient times where they would cut trees and then 
send them down the river all the way to Nagoya. Considering that Japan used to build much of their housing out of wood, that was the preferred building material for houses, you can see that there was a high demand in the past for lumber. Oh no, no, Taki. Oh, mudslide maintenance. So this has got to be on san right? This is day three of our trip to Nagano. In the first two days of our trip to Nagano Prefecture, we traveled along the Ida JR line. Now we're traveling along the Kiso River as well as the Chuo JR line. This is an older road. That's why there's a lot of construction going on. Uh, repairs are more just like an old car. In ancient times in Japan, roads developed along river ways. It looks like we're entering the outer limits of Nagiso. So we're going to see what this little town looks like. It's a tourist spot. 200 years ago, there are sections of Japan along the road from Tokyo to Nagoya. There were rest area spots and Nagiso is one of those. So when ancient travelers about 200 or more years ago came from Tokyo, they had a choice of two routes. One, a mountain route, the one that we're going, and this happens to be Route 19, and they had the other route was along the ocean. So Mount Fuji was in the center of the two choices that travelers had of the routes that they could travel on to Nagoya. A big part of this travel was a travel to the major Shinto shrines. One is Atsuta Jingu in Nagoya, and the other one is beyond Nagoya in Tumiya Prefecture, Ise Jingu on the Ise Peninsula. Then after travelers went, they could go on to Kyoto in the old days. The emperor used to live there, so that was the major travel route. Interestingly, we haven't been in this area of Japan for 40 years or more. About that time we met and were getting ready to get married, we took a little trip here on the other side from Nagoya and we had a kind of date here. It was fun to see the area. And then also after we got married, we brought foreign visitors here to this little town, Nagiso. This is an interesting, uh, it's not a complete tunnel, but it's perhaps a protection from heavy snows. 